Hello, my name is Carol Johnston, and I am proud to serve as president of the Washington State Association for Justice for 2010 and 2011. I am honored and humbled to step into the footprints of so many talented and dedicated visionaries who have served before me. WSAJ's greatest asset is its members who hunger for justice and truth. This is what drives our organization and what has turned WSAJ into a powerful force for protecting and safeguarding our civil justice system. Every day, our members fight to ensure that justice for those who deserve it will not be derailed. Often these battles are lengthy, as was the case for Jesse Magana. Jesse waited 12 years for justice while a multi-billion dollar corporation played legal games in order to avoid accountability for a product that left Jesse paralyzed. These battles are always worth it, as Josie and Todd Armentrout can attest to. The Armentrouts fought all the way to the state Supreme Court for the value of their daughter's life to be recognized in the law. Sometimes, battles to protect the civil justice system reach outside the courtroom. Right now, our members are working to defeat Initiative 1082 and to preserve the rights of injured workers in our state. The fight against Initiative 1082 is important, not only to the civil justice system, but also for social justice. It's all about making sure that injured workers and their families don't have to fight the insurance industry for their benefits and can get back to work. What trials lawyers do every day doesn't always make headlines or get reported in the Supreme Court decisions. Whether it's giving their all to a case that seems against the odds or giving back to the community at legal aid clinics, standing up for justice and fairness isn't always newsworthy. At the Washington State Association for Justice, it's our duty to defend the rights of individuals against powerful interests like those spending millions to sponsor Initiative 1082. That is why our members are proud of our mission to protect and promote a fair justice system and the right to trial by jury to ensure that any person harmed by the misconduct or negligence of others can obtain justice in America's courtrooms, even in actions against the most powerful interests. And that's why I am proud to serve as president of the Washington State Association for Justice.